There goes our first shipment of steel plates. What's it going to be? Come on, big money, big money, big money. 16,000. Hello everyone, Buck you Gaming here, and welcome back to another edition of Automation Empire, where last time we got into them gold, and man, the saying worth its weight in gold is really accurate. It is absolutely crazy how much gold is being produced and sent over here. Let's wait on this minecart here just a second. We're even dumping it into research, and we've got plenty here still. And look, there's eight coming to be dropped off. Like, how many more minecarts do we need? It's crazy. Wow. Gold. Who knew? All right. Well, as we ended our last episode, we hit a major milestone. We hit a goal. What was our goal? Combiners. Obviously, our next step is getting into combiners, but we have some options on which way and route we should go. We have this coal factory here that is literally spilling in every direction, so it's really producing more than those two truck stops can handle. And we've got some more iron back here we can hook up. That might be our best option to uh, hook the iron up, refine it, get it into a combiner, and work on some steel plates. There's not really anything around this iron, so we're just going to leave that factory be for now. Or we could take this ridiculously overproducing gold factory, mix it with some coal over here, get into gold fuel. But I think since this is working so well, and we've got some research hooked, to it, hooked up to it as well, we're just going to leave that be for now. I think our first and foremost thing is going to be getting into steel plates. And here's a good reason why. We want the remote, excuse me, not remote connectors. We want to enter phase two of, a, of this playthrough and unlock the freight train. Oh man, the freight trains are nice. You can say bye bye to crate makers, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Our first and foremost goal right now is getting the remote connectors because we can start using these combiners but they're not as effective without the remote connectors. But one step at a time. Let's get another little factory set up over here. Uh, get some more mining rigs down. Okay, you know what needs to be done there. Probably going to make another small factory right here. And then we'll do our combining factory right here. So let me figure this out. Back at you in a minute. Okay, all right, we got a little loop trap going, loop track going here, excuse me, and man, I'm starting to get a little bit creative. I went ahead and took the liberty of putting in that little refining factory down here, since you guys have seen me build these factories several times, I just skipped you the boring part this time. We put it right next to this factory, and now we have a minecart running through this factory and into that factory. And we got our first big boy container down too. Now, the reason that I did this is I'm going to have a minecart going through each one of these factories, looping around. Oh, there we go. Looping around. It'll run all the way through our combiner factory and connect back around to here. So it'll come through the coal, pick up the coal, come through, pick up the iron. And when we set the containers to pick up, either we can set the pickup points, excuse me, to either pick up certain materials I think we'll have to get into that in a minute uh, I just really like the idea of having the the minecart go absolutely through each factory and background I thought that was a really neat idea and I went with a really really large factory here because without the remote connectors we're going to be able to get into combining making steel plates and selling steel plates but when we get those remote connectors it allows us to add a lot more combiners than we're originally going to be able to work with so I went ahead and just, since we had the extra cash, I made it big for now. We'll definitely fill that in later. But first, let's, let's make this loop track, okay? Nope, wait, getting ahead of myself. I'm going to add the door there. 
Yes, lines up. This is going to come all the way through here. We need another door. And we got to do some deconstructing here. And we're not going to unpause this until we're shipping out steel plates right here. So let's start figuring out what to place what and where. And I think we're going to try to hook up a at least two combiners. Uh, we're going to have a lot of extra room until we get those transfer tubes. But for now, let's do one there. Start evenly on the other side. Put you there, you there. Some more transfer tubes. Okay, let's get our combiners down. One, and one. One coming out, coming out. Another there, another there. Spin things around. We need another one of these. And I'll show you how I'm going to do this all on one minecart. Uh, in just a minute here. It's actually really simple. Um, <clears throat> I wish we could hook up more of these, but they actually do produce a lot the last time I messed with them. I think it's been a little while, but it's kind of like they take, you know, we're going to have iron in here, coal in here. And since we're putting one and one, it's going to spit out two. So it's going to, it's going to seem like it's overproducing, but it's not, it should be fine. Let's, uh, Hopefully this will just the two of them will be enough to keep those these two things up here running because we're going to end up running that to this, which is our next step. Once I get some outputs down, I'm really surprised in this playthrough that I don't get these things backwards because I did it all the time, all the time when I was playing in my solo world by myself. So yeah, good on me, I guess. All right, we need to figure out the door. A little off there we're a little off there but I might be able to make this work by using one of these let's rotate that around perfect uh, where'd you go there you go okay now we're not gonna make this a loop track so we may have to either extend that back around for now remember this is all temporary we're just trying to produce some heavier products so we can get to that kilogram mark of what was it again 9,000 and we're already at 6,900 so we it's gonna take us a little bit of production we might have to get into gold fuel as well but let's let's like I said one thing at a time we'll, we'll start with this and see where it takes us now how we're gonna get these things to only pick up what we want is click on this vat here or this container you can select what materials it will accept okay for this one let's see we'll take the iron on that side not iron ore we want to make sure it's refined iron only this one we want refined coal only back to this one same thing same thing now on this minecart, we pretty much just want to go ahead and max her out. It's going to be carrying a lot of product. Okay, we need to connect that to that. Forgot to do that too. Let's see. Is that going to be easy? Wow. Thought I was going to have to get rid of some power lines. Love it when that works out. Okay, now we're going to have to kill this. And instead of deleting the thing and putting it back down, you can just destroy all contents can't do it with the crate maker but you can with that and all right this thing is already gonna load up a lot with coal that might be a problem too if this thing eh, we gotta power all this we'll start with that hopefully we don't have to buy another power plant hopefully three and four got that one done and we'll just come from the side of this in case we got to build some more. And yep, we had to build some more. It's 122 out of 20. There you go, Uncle Sam. Take some more of my money, why don't you? 
Okay, I think we're about ready to turn this system on. I don't think I've forgotten anything this time. Uh, the combiners will automatically, they'll automatically make the right things if you put the right resources in them. And if we come to our recipes, we're looking at steel plates. It takes refined iron and refined coal. If you were to put the wrong things into a combiner, it's going to spit out ash. Ash is not what you want, as it sells for a whopping $10. So yeah, you always want to destroy that when you get it, or plan, up, plan enough ahead to where you don't end up with it. That's probably the best bet. All right, um, we need a minecart right here. That's what we need. Four. Go with five. Let's extend this out. We're just going to curve this around for now. Can fix that later. Uh, this this thing have power? It does. Oh, from right there. Perfect. All right. We've cut that off. That's coming around. Let's fire it up. See how it runs. These things are. It's got to make its loop. I think part of the problem that I wasn't realizing before of why it needs to pass by these things is if you if you're doing it like I have and you had it paused and then you just power them on it takes them a little bit to actually collect enough stuff to put in a minecart so voila mystery solved right so simple okay let's uh, do that out a little further mm, that one's enough okay we got some iron coming in there this thing should already be like look, look at all the coal look at all the coal that thing is just crazy production you might notice i added a little bit to that as well just because i saw it backing up here uh and i also before i get too far ahead i wanted to show you i made a little bit of an error on last episode uh in my rush to get this factory i had all of these things going onto one conveyor belt and one vat and i realized that man that system was really bad and it was really getting jammed up so may have been why this factory is producing so much as it is now is now each set of three refiners has its own drop-off point and crate destroyer and it just worked out it made things it made things so much more optimized and like literally the gold is just spilling everywhere it's 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 full there it's give me research it's still full there i've got like 11 mine carts it's crazy it's crazy hopefully we'll be able to do the same thing with steel plates all right, so we got tons of coal. We're just basically waiting on this to get going. And I think this is our first load of the new iron coming in now. And we're going to kind of expect this to happen. And I hope oh, that doesn't happen too much because we, we got to have some room to pick, actually pick up the iron. Because this is running off of five, and this is only running off of four. So the coal's going to be a little bit faster. The good thing is these are not picking up any of the coal. So we've set those right. Okay, those are still going good. We've got some iron here. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to destroy. No, no we're not. I was going to destroy some contents, but... Yeah, there's enough. There's enough there. It'll balance out. I don't think we'll even fill those four right there. All right. Nope. Only got two. So now we should see our combiners start to work. And working the combiners are. In fact, they're working so hard, they literally cannot keep up. But that's okay. Hope We're hoping that with the output that we have right now, we can hit that kilogram mark and redo this whole system. So let's skip ahead and look into the future just a little bit and see if we get there. Look at that. Oh, we just made it. Oh, man. I had to let three whole months go by to get those trucks moving, get them dumping off that precious resource. And now our record three-month wait output is 9,246. I also did one little upgrade that I forgot to mention in any of my previous videos. Just beside the research tree here is something else you can spend your precious precious research points on. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. 
what I've decided to do here was increase the truck speed all the way. It was fairly cheap, only about 50,000 research per upgrade. And what that did is you can see we have empty trucks again because they're just coming at absolutely ridiculous rates now. But what that got us was up to 9,000 kilogram mark. So definitely worth the investment. At one point, I thought I was going to have to go over and start mixing some gold and coal together for gold fuel, but I'm glad we hit that mark. Uh, now, I can mess with that later, and we just need to start collecting a little bit of research so I can get some research points and unlock those uh, remote connectors, and we can completely redo this factory. Because these two little combiners are struggling to keep up with what we've got going on here. So... 178,000 uh, research points. I think I need 500,000 to get there. Man, this episode's going well. We're progressing nicely. Let's collect some research and we'll get into those remote connectors. Can't wait. Well, it looks like we are going to have to wait. Because as usual, I get so wrapped up in making this content for you guys. And this game is so much fun that I always lose track of time. It's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last. So make sure you tune in the next episode where we get into those absolutely amazing and game-changing remote connectors. I can't wait to show you guys. But as always, if you liked the video or found any of this useful, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to see future content. Leave me a comment down below on what you thought of this video. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.